here's my observation right here about uh, maturity. I think that when we talk here about, you know, uh, certain churches like uh, the Corinthian church maybe being a very immature church or not having a lot of, of spiritual maturity yet, so Paul is attempting to try to fix that in that church. And here in the book of Hebrews, the writer, who I believe possibly was Paul, uh, the Apostle Paul talks about being an immature Christian, or I should say a baby Christian. And, and uh, when we should have grown into the place where we're mature, we are very much immature in, in the Christian faith. So one of the evidences, or one of the things I observe that, um, that we are an immature church is that we, in my opinion, and uh, this is something that um, immature Christians do in general, and I'm not talking about the church organization, but I'm just talking about people in general in our church uh, in America here. We are famous for being busy helping everybody else with their faith as opposed to working our own faith. We're busy trying to fix everybody else's Christianity and we're not working our own Christian faith. And that is the one of the huge issues, I think, of immaturity. Immaturity, uh, both as a human, just, just in emotional growth, or as a Christian, is the fact that we're too busy trying to fix everybody else, and we're not busy enough trying to fix ourselves. And uh, what is interesting about that is that we criticize other people for doing it while we're practicing it, okay? while we're not spending the time working on our own faith and working on our, our own spiritual growth. And if the Christian church uh, wants to begin to be effective again in this um, Christian and Judeo-Christian intolerant, uh, hated, now being persecuted culture, we're going to have to grow and our growth is going to have to be not us looking around at other people, but us buckling down and getting serious before the Lord and growing as an individual and not worrying about so much whether or not the person next to us is growing in the Lord. They, there is part of the American church that is outright post, apostate. They don't believe in the errancy of the scripture. They don't believe in the virgin birth. They don't believe in, you know, uh, you know, the basic tenets that any ministry would put up as saying this is what we believe would be the basic tenets of of traditional Christianity in the last 2,000 years, and they don't even practice hardly any of it. They are a Christian in name only, um, uh, uh, and uh, they uh, they are no longer, they're the apostate church, and then there are churches that are extremely immature. They are about getting a feeling what God is doing for us, um, though, you know, we're, we're immaturity and only, uh, very immature and only churches, a few churches around that are extremely working on self and making sure that we're in a right relationship with God, standing on the inspiration and the inerrancy of scripture and um, attempting to fix our own life and our own problems. So I think that um, one of the um, signs of an immature church is that the people are concerned about they, they don't start from the basis of working on our own personal revival and repentance, then going hopefully to our families or the local church, and then going to the larger church as a whole. And so revival is something that has to happen on an individual basis, starting with me and my own personal prayer life, and then it moves out to other people as as God uh, allows it to. I think we're too busy um, trying to keep the herd of, of Christ Christians together, even those that are very weak and absolutely are living in absolute rebellion. Uh, they're, they're wolves in sheep's clothing or, or they're unregenerate and we're too busy trying to fix them and help them rather than trying to work on our own uh, the church needs to begin to focus just on itself and it needs to begin to focus on our own spiritual state before the Lord as individuals. I'm not saying we need to stop ministering um, into other people's lives. I do several ministries throughout the week and, um, and still I'm involved in ministry. 
on a daily basis in different ways, but we need to begin to really work on ourselves. So when we are too busy trying to complain about the immaturities of others to God,